On to another aviation story now. French officials have launched an investigation into an Air France flight that missed colliding with an active volcano earlier this month. You heard right. Almost hit a volcano. Joanne Wagstaff is here with what happened and how concerned we should be. Joanne? Right. Well, uh, it does sound like an alarming incident. So let me start off by saying there were no injuries and the plane landed safely at its destination. But here's what did happen. The 777 uh, took off in a, a thunderstormy evening back on May 2nd and narrowly missed colliding with Africa's tallest volcano with 37 people on board. So it took off from Malibu, headed towards Douala on, uh, in Cameroon. And as it moved into those thunderstorms shortly after it took off, it asked the tower in Douala for permission to deviate around those thunderstorms, a normal procedure. The tower gave uh, the pilots permission, and they actually headed towards Mount Cameroon. This was on a collision course, and it was actually as they were turning right back towards their destination after moving around those thunderstorms that the alarms went off in the cockpit, the approaching terrain alarms asking the pilots to pull up. Uh, they pulled up from their 9,000 feet cruising altitude to above uh, 13,000 feet to avoid colliding and then they uh, continued on their destination without incident. So uh, pretty surprising and it looks alarming just to see this mountain rising up from the surrounding lower areas. Uh, here's what the mountain or the volcano looks like from the ground. It is an active volcano last erupting in, 12, in uh, 2012 uh, and, and before that in uh, 1999. But again, an alarming story to uh, just to see visually uh, that the, the deviation that was approved took it so close to uh, a collision course. And they were definitely in terms of elevation, the plane was lower than the peak of that volcano. That's right. You know, I fly, like all of us here in Vancouver, across the Rockies lots of times as a passenger, and I look out sometimes and I think, those mountaintops seem <laughs> awfully close to this plane, so how concerned should passengers be that an Air France jetliner would come that close to a volcano? Well, it is an unusual situation, and that's why Air France has set up an investigation. In fact, the French Aviation a Agency, BEA, has opened that investigation today. Air France has uh, started its own internal investigation, and the air crew has been uh, basically uh, taken off duty until uh, the investigation uh, has been completed. But there's some interesting questions here. Just talking to some pilots who fly this area. This is an area that often sees bad weather. It's a high traffic area and there is no primary radar. So some questions around why the pilots asked for permission to deviate in an area where they knew the minimum altitude and why the control tower gave them permission uh, to change their heading uh, towards a uh, collision course. So uh, definitely under investigation today. It was nice that Air France though did report the incident.